Hey guys, let us look at question 8 from the November 2022 Physical Sciences Paper 2. It is electrochemical cell. Without any waste of time, let us get straight to the question. Question 8, in question 8 here, it says a piece, in fact a piece of zinc, so we are given zinc, is placed on a test tube containing a what? An acidified permanganate solution, which is what? Which is MnO4, is an aqueous solution. All right. After some time, it is found that a redox reaction has taken place. Now, what are we supposed to do? We need to use the table of standard reduction potential to answer the following questions. Now, just look at this. This is what we call the table of standard reduction potential. I am using 4B. We have 4B and 4A. And therefore, you can use 4A as well. I'll explain how it works. Or you can use what you can use 4B. What do we notice here on this table is that uh, there's an arrow going down. It says increasing in what? In oxidizing what? Agent as it is going down. And then here you have an arrow going up. It says what? Increasing in what? It's increasing in what? In reducing ability or the strength there. Okay, we are going to use this table on this question. Let us go back now. It says write down the name of the formula of the reducing what agent reducing agent so we don't just guess here yeah? we go to our table what are we looking for we are looking for we are looking for m n o4 and what and z n let us go trace these two reactions in our what in our table let us now look for m n o4 in our table here yeah? We are going to trace MnO4 so we can compare that with what? With zinc. All right. Ah, we have MnO4 here. So we just circle it so that we know it's easier for us to find it. Let us go look for zinc here. Let us go look for zinc. Aha, I see zinc here. Therefore, I see zinc here. Let us look at the two. We were asked here which one is a reducing agent, a reducing agent. Let us go to our table here. You look at the arrow here. As you are going down, as you are going down, you are increasing in the strength of what? Of oxidizing agent. So meaning that MnO4 is a stronger oxidizing what? Agent than zinc. However, when we look on the right, this side, the arrow is going up. It is saying increasing strength of reducing agent. All right. And therefore, we see that zinc is a, what is a stronger reducing agent. So we can come here and say the answer that we are looking for here, yeah, the answer that you are looking for, it is not MnO4, but it is what? It is zinc. So we can just write zinc here. Why is zinc the answer? Because zinc is the what? Is the stronger reducing what? Agent. Stronger reducing agent. You can even write Zn. You still get a mark there, Zn. All right. So that's how you use your table. Let us go to 8.1.2. It says refer to the relative strength of the oxidizing agent to explain why a redox reaction has taken place. So we need to explain referring to the relative strength of what? Of oxidizing what? Agents. Which one is a stronger oxidizing agent again? We can go to our table. We have seen that as we go down the table, we are increasing in the strength of oxidizing agent. Therefore, our MnO4 is a stronger what? Oxidizing what? Agent. So we can come here in 8.1.2 and say that MnO4 is a what? Is a stronger is a stronger, stronger what? Oxidizing agent. Is a stronger oxidizing agent. All right. So if this one is a stronger oxidizing agent, then what? We are comparing with what? With zinc. Than zinc. Than zinc, which is a 2 plus there. All right. And then, those we call them ions. It means that 
and will do what it will oxidize it will oxidize because its job is to do what is to oxidize it will oxidize oxidize zinc from solid to what to zinc ion all right to z and two plus so that is the first thing that we need to write there however after writing this you have your full three marks because you have indicated which one is a stronger oxidizing agent stronger than what than zinc okay stronger than zinc and therefore it will oxidize zinc to what to zinc two plus which we call what we call them ions here that's how you get your your three marks do not explain this using what using what using the reducing agent because we're told to use what here oxidizing what agent all right let us move to 8.2 with 8.2 now we are given a standard electrochemical cell which is set up as shown below all right a standard electrochemical cell if we don't have a power supply here this will never be what will never be an electrolysis therefore meaning that this one is a galvanic cell because i see the presence of what here of a salt bridge i have a salt bridge there all right and i have two electrodes in a beaker and therefore i have ni2 plus and i have mn2 plus all right let us then check our questions here it says write down the function of component y so the first thing you need to know is what is component y we said it is a what it is a salt bridge what is the function of a salt bridge then the first one we know that it provides a path for movement of what of ions it provides a path for movement of what of ions or we can even say that it completes the circuit it completes the circuit it completes the circuit it completes the circuit in fact it's just one circuit it completes the circuit we can just remove this here it completes the circuit all right and therefore all you can even add to say that it ensures electrical neutrality in the cell it ensures it ensures electrical neutrality electrical neutrality this one is for electrical neutrality neutrality so it's neutrality in the what in the cell you get your mark there okay let us move to 8.2.2 in which direction now will electron flow in the external circuit you must choose from m in fact not m n i to m n or m n to n i all right i think what we can do let us go back to our table now we need to identify which one is a cathode and which one is a what is an anode here yeah. so we must identify the cathode okay and then the what there the anode what do we know about cathode is that in anode we have oxidation all right and then here we have what we have reduction okay so if we have that let us go to our what to our table and see we are comparing what ni and what n and mn there is our table here we are comparing ni and there is ni i'll just underline it this time and then let us look at mn there is mn2 plus we have it here so we are comparing the two this one here on the table of 4b it is a what it is a stronger is a reducing agent it is a reducing agent all right and therefore this one when i compare with the two it becomes a what an oxidizing what agent oxidizing agent now what do we know about oxidizing and reducing agent let us come here and say if you are oxidizing agent if you are oxidizing agent so we can get our answer here if you are oxidizing agent let us take it down oxidizing agent all right it means that it is reduction what do you know about reduction again we'll come to that and therefore if you are a reducing agent 
you are what you are oxidation okay oxidation now oxidation we have what we have the r naught and then reduction we have the what we have there the k thought here okay now we should know that reduction and oxidation which one is positive and which one is what is negative oxidation will be what will be negative and then cathode will be what will be positive all right so if this is positive this is negative and we are looking for electrons electrons will flow from what from negative to what to to positive now what is our reducing agent we can go to our to our table again to verify that our reducing agent is mn so mn is our reducing agent mn is our reducing agent we can just take that down mn is our reducing agent all right so mn is our reducing agent and then what about um nickel or ni it is our what oxidizing agent so they will move from what from anode to what to to cathode but anode it's mn and then cathode is what it's ni so we can say from mn to what to ni mn to ni that's how we then answer that question there mn to ni so we can write here the answer is mn to what to and I because electrons must move from negative to what to positive you get your mark there this is your answer for 8.2.2 right 8.2.3 calculate the initial EMF of the cell okay we need to know our formula first E right E cell equal to E reduction E reduction okay it's E reduction minus E oxidation E oxidation okay now what is reduction again I've told you now if it's reduction if it is reduction it means it's the cathode one and which is Ni for us and if it's what if it's a reduction we said it's Mn and if it's if it's reducing agent in fact I made a mistake there I said if it's reduction it's Ni and then for if it's oxidation is what it's it is mn let us go to our formula now we know which one is reduction so reduction we are looking for the e value of reduction we go to the table we go to our table because we said reduction let's take it down again reduction is what is ni we go to our table we look for ni and therefore our ni there we have underlined it it is negative 0 0.27 so we go and plug in that in our equation here in fact in our formula okay so let's plug that down quickly so that we can calculate and get our answer and therefore what do we have here we said we have negative don't forget negative 0 0.27 minus and therefore minus again here we are looking for mn because mn is what is oxidation and therefore we look for the e value of mn mn is here the e value is what is negative 1,18 and therefore we go back here and say we are looking for the value which is negative comma 1,8 we just plug in the value and therefore we start calculating so this is negative 1,18 okay checking our calculator because we are looking for our e cell there we just say negative calculator we just say negative we just say negative let's put it here we just say negative 2 in fact negative 0 comma 2 negative 0 comma 2 7 bracket before that I can put a word I can put a minus in bracket minus 1,1 1, 1,18 1, okay close the bracket there equal to there's something we have done that is not correct there let's just fix it quickly we had negative negative 0, 0,27 okay minus in bracket minus 1,18 okay now we should get our answer now our answer is 0, 0,91 
our answer is 0 0.91 volts. Okay, that's how you get your max there. This should be 4 max because 1 for the formula, 1 for this, 2 for the substitution here, and the final one for, for the answer. All right, let us go to 8.2.4. They said write down the word there, balanced equation for the net cell reaction taking place, okay? The net cell taking place. So what do we know here? We know that in oxidation, we have oxidation and what? And reduction. Oxidation and reduction. Our reduction there, we can just verify which one was reduction. Reduction was Ni. So with Ni, what I want you to do here, you go to your table, you go to Ni, we have underlined Ni, if it's reduction, which is oxidizing agent here, you copy it the way it is. So we have Ni2 plus, plus two electrons to give me Ni. So we go back and copy it. But if it is, if it is oxidation, we have to copy it from left to what? Left to right. And therefore we cancel our electrons there. Let's go and see how we can do that. We can do it like this. We can do it like this on 8.2.4. 8.2.4. All right, so we are looking at oxidation now. Our oxidation was an I, just copy it the way it is, 2 plus, plus 2 electrons. This will give us what? This will give us an I. All right, and then for the oxidation, in fact, this was reduction. For oxidation, we have MN, which will give me M n 2 plus plus what two what two electrons these two electrons are going to cancel each other out what am i left with i am left with ni 2 plus okay and then this side i'm left with what plus what plus m n what am i going to get this side i'm going to get what i'm going to get ni plus what plus m n 2 plus that's how you write your half reaction. Or you can say Ni2 plus plus Mn. You can have Mn2 plus plus what plus Ni. So please remember that the first one we copied the way it is, and the second one we copied from right to left. Let us look at 8.2.5, the last question. The concentration of Ni2 plus is now increased. If we increase the concentration, we are also increasing what? We are also increasing the, the, the voltmeter. We increase, increase the voltmeter. Those two are directly proportional there. So our answer is increase for what? For 8.2.5. So we say increase here. And therefore we get our mark. All right, Kilo 12. That's how you have answered question 8. We were looking at electrochemical cells.